You're looking at a shot of the SRT Viper GTS anodized carbon special edition. And we're live from the floor of the Los Angeles Auto Show. Hi, I'm Ed Garston with Chrysler Digital Media. And with me is Mark Trosel, who's the head of design for SRT and Viper. And a reporter just came up to me and said, this car is the car of the show. So that's a great feeling off the bat. Mark, could you take us around the car and tell us what's so special about it? Absolutely, and it is special, and that's great to hear because we're we're very proud of it. Um, we, you know, if you if you look at trends that have been going on in, in the aftermarket and customization for the past few years, there's been a lot of uh, matte paints, a lot of different versions of that coming out. Um, some manufacturers um, have done some limited uh, edition versions of it, um, and we felt that the Viper was a great place for SRT to experiment with that same thing. We we love to listen to our customers and um, try and give them what they're asking for, and this is something that we've been getting a lot of feedback on, on having a low gloss or a matte uh, type paint. And so we've been working on this for a, for a couple of years now, and we felt that the Viper was a perfect place to, to debut it. And, uh, it's actually has a lot of metallic in the paint, so uh, you see a lot of matte paints that um, end up having kind of like a chalky um, feel to them. With the metallic in the paint, it still has what I refer to as a lot of light bounce in it. And you can see the reflections in here where it does, it does have a certain sparkle to it, if you will. Uh, so it really lends itself well to the forms that are on the Viper. You know, there's, I refer to landscape on the hood of how much all the shape that's on the hood and it being a low gloss paint, it still really has a lot of reflection to it, but it's such a unique finish of it. And the car really is special in that we're only going to be building 50 of these as well. We've uh, we've we wanted to we wanted to carry uh, you know make the car a little bit special in a few other areas as well and um, to offset the the lower gloss exterior paint we've done a, a, a black vapor chrome wheel which is exclusive to the SRT brand as well and you see this on some of our other SRT products so it's the first time we're using it on the Viper and it's a great it's a great complement to the exterior finish and you see we've we've actually have an orange uh, caliper caliper as well. Uh, to, to really, it pops very nicely against the colors, and we've got a gloss black GTS badge on it as well. Sure. So, and you also see we've on the the anodized carbon package. We we have uh, adapted our our carbon fiber uh, panels to it. So you see the carbon fiber panel brake duct on the side. Uh, you'll see that in the rear as well. On the inside, we've also done. The, the same that same orange accent that we have in the in the in the on the brakes uh, as a stitching on the interior and you can see that same orange being used on the AC uh, outlets uh, as well as a little a little piece on the uh, by the door pull as well so very you know just sparingly using the color it adds a little bit of pop to it um, it has an Alcantara headliner in it Alcantara Alcantara knee blocker and you can also see the carbon fiber pieces on the steering wheel and uh, uh, various other panels on the interior as well. So it really is a special car, and the the name the name itself really fits uh, the color to me. This kind of anodized, you know, if you think of an anod something that's anodized, it has some depth to it, um, and then carbon, of course, being you know something that's a little bit more sinister. Right. So yeah. to me, it, you know, it really fits the Viper well. Well, you can see it. I mean, given the the presence here on the turntable, it does look pretty sinister. You can imagine <laughs> on the street if I saw that in my rearview mirror, what uh, what I would think. Want to go around the back a yeah, little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So as I as I mentioned, we've you know, we've you know took this opportunity to have a little bit of contrast in the in the finishes using our, our exposed uh, carbon fiber uh, panel in the rear complements well against the LED tail lamps, uh, and then finishing up with the uh, the fuel filler that you would see on the uh, being finished in anodized carbon as well. So really, just that word sinister. Everything being you know uh, has has certain attitude to it. Well, let's let's just talk about the. Uh the, the Viper for a minute as a your designer uh, we, we've seen now some other editions of the Viper the TA for uh, for example with a great orange uh, color what is it about the Viper that makes it just a, a great palette for you to work on yeah I've, the, and the, the TA is a perfect example and, and our customers really like the, the exclusivity that um, that we offer them with these packages uh, with with the with the TA we've actually have uh, uh, 93 orange uh, uh, TA orange that we're going to be offering, and then uh, 33 white and 33 black. So in the TA package, so it's very again very exclusive, and it's a way for us to 
to, to you know have the, the car can wear so many different personalities mm -hmm. um, as you see here with this finish it's a completely different expression than the finish you know on the orange on the TA so it's a great way for us to to do these limited packages and believe me always thinking of you know what can we do next and uh, you know getting inspired by by uh, our owners and I was going to ask you about it. it seems to be no loss of appetite for different iterations of of the Viper you know when you talk about hearing from your owners what is what is it they they, they tell you about you know do do this for me or do that for me and, and this this would really make me happy as a Viper owner yeah, there's a we, we hear an awful lot and what I always like yeah. to say is we are always listening um, some things you know we can't bring instantly and can't always comment on but but it's that passion that we get from from SRT customers in general and certainly Viper owners that it really does fuel us and I love it I love that I think that's what's great about uh, the SRT brand is that we to me we are a part of that community and uh, we have such a good relationship and I think it just it, it helps me and it, and it comes through in our products. Sure and uh, one thing we didn't get to of course people are going to want to know when when can I get this and how much is it going to cost me? Good, good question yeah uh, uh, January we will start delivering them to dealerships uh, uh, ordering is opening up this week for them so if you want one uh, <laughs> head to your dealer uh, pricing will be in the, the mid 140s.